Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Waves. In this video, I'm gonna show you three super simple ways of using Studio Rack that you can try in your next mix. These are setting up a bass management module, setting up a multiband stereo spreader, and a stereo to mono switch for checking mono compatibility in a mix. So let's start by taking a look at how we can use Studio Rack for bass management. But what do I mean when I say bass management? Well, let's take a quick listen to this acoustic guitar. Double tracks, we've got one panned hard left, one hard right. These are outputted to its own auxiliary. And if you notice the tone of the acoustic guitars, so lower mids, around about 250 hertz, they don't sound very consistent off at the hard left and hard right. But I like the stereo width. Now what we can do is use Studio Rack to pull in that range up the middle while retaining the width of the double track guitars. And it's very simple to do and don't need any additional Waves plugins. So let's set this up. So on that guitar submix, all I'm gonna do is load up a multi-band split and we get two racks out of the box. Now my ear is telling me that the tone of those guitars is around 250 hertz. So what I'm gonna do is enter that in on the crossover and use the solo buttons down here to listen if I've got that range right. So I can solo this band. I'd say so, and just to confirm, we can bring this other band in, which is 250 hertz above. And that's the stereo width I want to maintain. So over here, I can use this width control down here, double click, type in a value of zero, and there you have it. Everything below 250 hertz is now summed to mono. If you just put that back, you'll notice on the meters down here, the difference in left and right energy. And again, when we sum, it's equal power. Now we've got some bass management going on, and this could be really useful to set up as well if you're working with enormous sounding synth tracks and drum tracks, just where the low ends, the sub range may be, is off at the sides and it's upsetting compressors and whatnot, and you just wanna bring that in to focus and solidify your track. So it's well worth trying this trick with Studio Rack. Now let's just do a quick before and after so you can hear the effects of this. But I do recommend that you put on a good set of studio headphones or get yourself in front of your studio monitors to be able to fully appreciate this example. to go a step further with your bass management you can do so down here by adjusting this fader which will lower the level of everything below 250 hertz okay so let's move on to the next studio rack technique that you can try and that's using this as a multi-band stereo imager enhancer or spreader however you like to describe them for this again we're going to use the multi-band split and you can use as many bands as you like so i'm just going to go for three and the controls that you will use are the crossovers like in the bass management there so i'm going to go for 250 like i did previously and 2k and what you can do is widen down here at the bottom by clicking and dragging on the width control you notice there in blue the stereo field symbolizes that it's wider you can narrow this as well and if you keep adjusting you'll notice that the little ring around the dial turns a yellowy brown this means that we've reversed the stereo image which is very cool so what we can do here is narrow the range between 250 hertz and 2k Maintain the center image of everything below 250 that we did with our base management technique earlier in the video. And push out the airy frequencies and everything above 2K here. Before and after. really 
really great way of working with tracks such as this acoustic guitar because you still get that stereo width but it sounds tighter and more defined so let's move on to the last studio rack technique that you can try and it's a simple one but oh so useful especially if you work in pro tools most modern daws have a stereo to mono switch somewhere around their master section which is important for us to be able to hear if our stereo mix folds down to mono but pro tools doesn't have this so we can use this as a solution again we use a multiband split and for the crossover, put it down at 20 hertz. It's as low as the plugin will go. Bypass the lower rack because it's doing nothing. And in width, put a value of zero. It's just that simple. And then you can bypass either the whole studio rack plugin from your DAW. Or if you're working in studio rack and you've got your own waves mastering chain going, you can check your mixes in mono by simply engaging or disengaging that component there. Let's take a quick listen. So there you have it, Waves New Studio Rack Plugin. A plugin limited only by your imagination. Get yourself a copy from the Waves website. Again, click that card at the top right of the screen. Have a play around with the multiband sections. Have a go with the parallel processing. Make some of your own plugins and maybe have a go with some of these techniques I've recommended in this video. Do let us know what you're doing with Studio Rack. We really want to know how you're using it. So talk to us in the comments below. Anyway, I hope you guys got something from this. I'm Dan from Waves, and I'll see you again soon.